Hey guys, welcome to Bizotech. In our previous videos, we solved problems on ages. And now in this video, we will move on to the final segment of problem solving on ages. So let's right away start from the next problem. A woman says, if you reverse my own age, the figures represent my husband's age. He is of course senior to me and the difference between our ages is 1 eleventh of the sum. The woman's husband ages what? And you have four options. Surprisingly, there is no numerical things given in the question. So these kind of questions can be solved by trial and error method or it's also called as option elimination method. If you consider option A, 45 itself as woman's age and by reversing it, we will get the husband age which is 54. It's of course more which is elder and reverse of the same number. So 54 minus 45 is equal to they have given 1 by 11th of sum of their ages. And when you sum their ages, it will be 99 divided by 11 is equal to 9. So this gives the husband age by exactly satisfying the given condition. So your answer option will be option D, 54. So I hope this is clear. And now let's move on to the next problem. The age of mother one decade ago, so which is 10 years before, was 3 times the age of her daughter. And next, after 10 years, so 10 years hence, mother's age will be 2 times that of her daughter. So what's the proposition of their current age? So which is nothing but the ratio, the proposition of their current age. So now we have solved a very similar problem to this. So let's assume daughter's age is A and mother's age is thrice a decade ago. So and next, by adding all those things, we form a equation. So this is decades ago and now hence 10 years after. So that's been also mentioned. But then the age of the mother will become twice of the daughter's age. And when you simplify this, you will get 3a plus 20 is equal to 2a plus 40. And now a is equal to 40 minus 20 is equal to 20. So that will give you the age of the daughter. Now they need the ratio. So the age of the mother and age of the daughter. When you substitute 20 in place of A, the first age will be 70 is to 30 will be the daughter's age which in turn giving you the required ratio 7 is to 3. So the right answer option will be 7 is to 3. And now let's move on to the Next problem, when Srujan was born, his father was 32 years older than his brother, so Srujan's brother, and his mother was 25 years older than his sister, so again Srujan's sister. If Srujan's brother ages 6 years older than Srujan, and his mother is 3 years younger than his father, so her own husband, how old was Srujan's sister when Srujan was born? And you have 4 different options for this. So now it's very easy actually there is it feels like there is lot to solve but I told you there is nothing to panic about these kind of questions. So let's move on to the solution part. So this can be solved very easily. So when Sujan was born his age was 0 years. So that's well known and his brother's age was 6 years given in the question. And adding to his brother's age his father is 32 years older than brother age. So that will give you his father's age 32 plus 6 which is equal to 38 and then they have also told mother is 3 years younger to her own husband which is 38 minus 3, 35 years. Now you have to calculate sister's age. In order to calculate the sister's age, you have a relations given in the question. So they have given mother is 25 times, 25 years older than her sister. So now her current age is 35, so 25 years older than her daughter, so which is Sujan's sister. So now the remaining age will be the Sujan's sister's age, which is 10 years, giving us the required answer option, option C, 10 years. Let's move on to the next problem. In the next problem, they have given Salman was born. Two years after his father's marriage, 
His mother is five years younger than his father, but twenty years older than Salman, who is ten years older. So Salman' age is also being given. Now you have different options. So now let's get into the solution part. So what is that solution? Salman's present age is ten years. So that obviously make her his mother age as ten years plus twenty, which is thirty years. And they have also given her mother is five years younger to her husband itself. So which will make father's age thirty-five years. And now it's very simple. The father's age at the birth of Salman would be thirty-five minus Salman's current age, so which is ten years, and that gives rise to twenty-five years. So twenty-five years is the age when Salman. Was born. So when his father was twenty-five, Salman was born. But they have asked you to calculate Salman's father age when he got married. So very simple. In the question they have told you, Salman was born two years after his father's marriage. So twenty-five minus two will give you twenty-three years. So giving the required option answer twenty-three years. Option C. And now the last problem on ages. If two times of the daughter's ages in years is included to the mother's age, the total is seventy. And if two times of mother's age is included to the daughter's age, the total is ninety-five. So mother's ages what? So you have different options for that. And now let's get into the solution. So let's consider daughter's age as A and mother's age as B. So you can consider any unknown parameter. And then, so this is the equation you will obtain from question. Twice of Daughter's age plus mother's age is equal to seventy, and twice of mother's age plus daughter's age is equal to ninety-five. And all that you need to do is solve both of them. So you have two equation: two a plus b is equal to seventy. And in the other way, a plus two b is equal to ninety-five. And now you multiply this with Factors of a to eliminate any one of the parameters, so it will become four a plus two b is equal to one forty, and this will stay as a plus two b, and the b b will be eliminated, and then you will find the value. So you just have to do simple simplification, by which you will get the option as forty. So that will give you the Right answer option, which is forty. So with this, we complete with all the concepts and problems pertaining to the topic ages. So please make sure that you watch our next videos for further problem solving and different topics. Thank you so much for watching.